everyone. This is Jessica from the Foothills Family YouTube page. Today we're sharing our haul from the Dollar Tree for Operation Christmas Child Shoe Boxes as well as stocking stuffers. Recently Trish from Bird Feed had shared her haul and so I knew that I wanted to check out Dollar Tree so thanks Trish for sharing on your page. So let's get started. I haven't been to Dollar Tree for a while so I was really surprised to see a lot of Disney characters especially since I'm planning on doing a few Disney character themed shoe boxes next year and one of them is for Frozen Anna and Elsa so I picked this up it was the only one I saw and it's a gem sticker art set and obviously for the shoe boxes we'll have to take this out of the box but it was really cute and I picked that up and along those lines, I picked up the Frozen 2 48 piece puzzle. We've never added a puzzle before to our shoe boxes, but I know I've seen several from Trish on Bird Feed YouTube page. So we decided to pick that up. And then I've seen several YouTubers add these cups before and they're really good quality. So I'm excited also to add this to our box as well. And I found this on the snack container aisle, so I picked that up as well to add to our shoe box for next year. Another theme that we're planning on doing for our shoe boxes is unicorn, probably ages five to nine, and I'm definitely planning on doing two of those next year. So I was able to find two of these cute cups, so I was excited to find those. And I was only able to find one of these little Dreamtopia Barbie dolls, but I went ahead and grabbed her. Um, I know I keep mentioning Trish, but I just saw her haul a couple of days ago, and she had talked about these little Barbie dolls. So I wanted to go ahead and get those um, when I could find those, and I'm, I, I'm glad to at least have found one of these to add to this collection. And I found, I know this isn't unicorn, but it's bright and sparkly. I found one of these glasses that I'm going to add to one of these boxes. And I found these two unicorns. I was hoping to find at least one more set. And when I actually, after I checked out, I found another one, but the line was so long, I didn't want to go back and get it. So if I'm able to, obviously before next year, I'll go back and get the other set. But I thought they were cute just to add as a little gem, as Christy M. likes to say. And I think that's a good way to describe those. And then also Trish had shown these, and I think this is so cute to add. And I did notice there are some little unicorns on here. So this will be cute to add to my unicorn box. One of the unicorn boxes. And I only saw one of those. So I did pick up this, and when I was looking through here, I noticed that all the little creatures are unicorn they're called unicreatures so again if I'm able to I'm gonna go back and try to get another one of these and another Nella one to add to both boxes and then I was able to find one pair of these socks so um, they're a little big but you know they might shrink and if not I can add these to a 10 to 14 box so that's okay if you know those are too big for the for them but I was excited to find these for my two unicorn boxes. It's a good start, and I already got some cute clothes that I am going to show for old Na at the Old Navy Hall. Um, I've already got the unicorn outfits that I'll be showing soon. And I also found a few of these Sticker Story Mega Sets. And again, I saw these on Trisha's page. And this is the dinosaur one. It's really cute. So I definitely will probably be doing some kind of dinosaur theme. I may give this one to my seven-year-old son, maybe for a stocking stuffer. I'm not sure yet. They did have several of these there. And I saw this really cute princess one. So I got one of those as well. And I love that it has little themes and they're, as you can tell, they're reversible. And so just play. I love that they can play with them, and I'm thinking that it's something they can play with over and over again. So I like that. It's not just something they can play with just one time. 
and I'm planning on doing a Mickey Mouse box as well. There is a lot of Mickey Mouse there, um, so I didn't get anything else except this little guy. I don't know how you say that, but there is only two of these left, and the other one was dirty, so I just picked him up. He was so cute, um, so I'm excited to do a Mickey Mouse theme box next year. Also, I found these brightly colored totes towards the front of the store. I love that they're just brightly colored, and I'm planning on doing at least two pineapple tropical colored shoe boxes. So I picked these up and an extra one. And along those same lines, I found this one in a melon journal. So I picked that up and this little sloth page markers. He's kind of tropical looking. So I picked that up as well. And I saw this cute little pom-pom looking headband. So I got that as well. Next is this calendar. I actually got this for my oldest for her stocking stuffer. She had a little calendar like this before, but our daughter Ella, our little two and a half year old, had colored all over it. I'm sure that she'll probably give Ella the little extra calendar that's in there to have. Um, and I also got this really cute little bunny Barbie brand. There was only one of those, so I picked those up before it was gone and I found this Blue's Clues coloring activity pack for Ella, my little two and a half year old. She loves Blue's Clues so I'm going to stick that in her stocking. And I looked all over the store for Hot Wheels. Um, I'm going to put this in my seven year old stocking but I will go back and look some more for some more Hot Wheels to add in our shoe boxes. I have some already for shoe boxes. I just wanted to get that one for our son. And I may do a puppies and kitten shoe box next year. I've seen a couple of those on different YouTubers pages. So I did pick this up. Um, I'm probably going to give one of these to our two and a half year old. If you do two to four year old shoe boxes, please add coloring books. My two and a half year old loves to color. So I know that's something that can be good for all ages is coloring books. So please do that. They love to color at the toddler age. And I did get some batteries also with those two, two um, coloring books. And last, I did not get this in a shoe box for a shoe box. I got this actually, not a Dollar Tree. I don't know if you guys, any of you do food line to go, but they gave me this and I thought this was the neatest thing um, for doing an order on Instacart. So I'm definitely going to send these, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I send it in this, even though it says food line to go? So if you see this whole video and see this at the end, let me know if I should send it in this little box. I would appreciate your comment on that. Definitely going to send the silverware inside. So. Just let me know. Thank you all for joining us today for this haul from Dollar Tree. I hope this gives you some ideas. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I haven't shopped at Dollar Tree for a while, so I was pleasantly surprised at all the just really good quality items that you could find at Dollar Tree for stocking stuffers and especially for shoe boxes. So I hope this gives you some good ideas. May God bless you as you continue to shop for your shoe boxes for this year. You still have a couple weeks and also for next year as you plan and prepare for that. See you later.